So we are going to start the second part of uh, this uh, session uh, dedicated to uh, screen dance in Russia. And uh, we are uh, very lucky to have uh, uh, several artists coming from uh, Russia. So uh, we have uh, Veronika Akopova. Uh, who is Russian but uh, with options. Uh, so, Russian born in Tbilisi from Armenian uh, background, plus living in France and working in Germany. So, Russianish, uh, let's say. <laughs> and uh, then we are going to have uh, several works by uh, uh, Dina Veriutina. Uh, who is uh, also coming with uh, Arina and uh, uh, your name, eh? Natasha, uh, uh, who are working together uh, or separated, but uh, uh, around dance and uh, screen dance activities. Uh, and uh, we will have uh, at the end, some conferences. Uh, we, we are changing. Uh, we will do both conferences uh, at the end after uh, seeing the movies. So those will be short uh, conferences uh, around uh, uh, Russian uh, screen dance. And then we will have a panel discussion. So in, in this case, we will show the movies and we will discuss each uh, movie, and uh, at the end we will have a general discussion. So, uh, we are going to start with uh, um, Veronika Kopova, who made uh, this movie along with uh, Florian Goralski. Uh, uh, so, uh, we are going to watch it, and uh, then we will have a a short uh, uh, discussion with, uh, with Veronica.
please have this. Uh, so just let's make a little introduction to your your film. Uh, if you can present it uh, yourself. Uh, so uh, the first, it's just a film made for uh, the screen or was it uh, some something that was made for the stage and was filmed afterwards? Um, no, it was not made for the stage. It was uh, a workshop actually for uh, Russian dancers in Moscow. Um, so I led the workshop during four days Um, so the subject of the workshop was um, algorithmic methods of composition um, and yeah we were working on different tasks and this is the result that we filmed on the fifth day in a studio so the, the purpose of the workshop was to to learn how to compose through algorithms but also to make a video dance at the end so the purpose uh, was actually to uh, to to create uh, an algorithmic. When you say composition, it's like choreographic yeah. composition. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that, that's uh, uh, very interesting. So, but uh, the the result w was not planned in advance. I mean, because I mean, it looks like uh, something that uh, is very precise in. Uh, what it's trying to convey, and uh, so the, the gr and the graphics that you inserted were not thought in advance. They were put uh, afterwards, or uh, we had the idea before, but we were working on different tasks, and then we picked up the most successful tasks that seemed more relevant to the film. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, made in Moscow. It, yeah. in Moscow. Okay, good. Um, so we will have time uh, afterwards to, to talk uh, all, all together, but uh, definitely it's uh, uh, something very different from what we receive from, from Russia. So mm -hmm. it was very interesting to, to have uh, your, uh, your, your film. It's very different from everything actually. So it's not only Russian, it's, uh, it's a different uh, film, the concept and uh, and the execution, and uh, I think uh, both uh, Rafael and I, when we mm. watched it, uh, we said, well, this is uh, really uh, one of the good uh, movies we, we have uh, received. And if you can talk a little bit about uh, yourself, you come more from choreography, from mm -hmm. dance. Uh, uh, yes, I come from dance, and uh, yeah, actually, uh, I come from literature and l linguistics. Uh, I studied literature and linguistics in Moscow and, and then I moved to Paris to study poetry and dance and then I decided to, to become a dancer and um, I did my training and yeah, I became a dancer and choreographer and then I also discovered video dance during my studies and I made if my first film during my studies, and this is my second film. And Florian, he comes from cinema, so yeah, so we work together on almost all the projects. And it's very interesting because it's both a very, uh, how to say, a choreographic uh, film with a lot of dance and uh, things that could be in another way put on a stage, but at the same time it's only something that can exist on, on, on film, on many regards. So I mean, I could do a piece with it, with it and yeah, I can imagine it being a, a choreography on stage, but, but for now it's, it's just a film. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's uh, go now to thank you uh, so how are we going to make this uh, we come back and forth we what uh, show all of them or show one okay
este. So let's uh, watch now uh, control C, control V, so control copy, control paste, I suppose. Uh, again, the title looks like very computer science uh, style, uh, but let's discover what we are going to discover.
Thank you. Uh, so uh, this work uh, we did with choreographer Alexander Lebashin. Uh, we worked together a few six, five hours. And uh, this work was uh, filmed as a part of international program. It's uh, summer dance, uh, summer contemporary dance school. Uh, in this project, uh, we have a laboratory about uh, video dance, dance film, and uh, a, yes, and we have a course for children and for uh, normal people. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and uh, this work uh, is uh, for us. It was important to uh, uh, invite all all people in our laboratory and uh, uh, we find together the simple uh, movement. Uh, we have uh, our opinion uh, was uh, copy pasting because uh, we think it's a very important thing since our life. We have uh, thoughts, uh, internet, uh, social network. Yeah, yeah, social network for Instagram, for some gadget. I have my phone, I have my phone too. It's uh, different, different things. And our focus was on this copy pasting and uh, we found some location near the place. And uh, for each location we find uh, very simple, very habitual movement and uh, we tried do with our mm -hmm. so th th this was not like a, a very much prepared uh, a choreography it was made on on the spot and uh, f uh, trying to find what to do during it yeah we uh, go to we go to location go to mm -hmm. place all our group and uh, we so uh, we have a step what we do we have a wall what we do and yeah people are in the our it's a very very small city in the sea, and yeah, <laughs> when we filming, is it the Black Sea? Black Sea, yeah, okay. Kremer. Uh, and uh, when we filming, uh, free day, uh, people see for us. Oh, it's a crazy guy. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, crazy guy go <laughs> for our street. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's continue yeah. and. Uh,
this yeah. film is the same project for the next summer. Uh, but in this film, we invite a professional dancer, it's teacher on this uh, summer school. And uh, I and Alexander have an idea filming, uh, filming in night, just in uh, headlight. And we want to think about it, what is headlight, what is uh, the mean, and we uh, and think about the wild animal who go to highway on the road and uh, hail light is jumping. And we start to think about the wild, about the wild it's everything with us, it's uh, like a black side of human. Yeah, and uh, we do a free story, different story with uh, one uh, absurd. Yeah, it's very simple. It's very simple story, and ah, yes, and uh, we uh, try to do uh, uh, dance film remix like uh, Jim Jarmusch <laughs> and some <laughs> some kind of joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, uh, just a question. So it's the same. Uh, is Alexander uh, Lubashim also the choreographer? The dancers also are the same, but. Uh, uh, are they professional dancers? It's like a dance company, or is it? Uh... Uh, it's not dance company. It's a summer uh, uh, summer school. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, was uh, work this project project uh, five six year every every summer, and uh, teacher it's the same every summer, and the teacher is the professional d dancers. Uh, so uh, these are. Uh, professional dancers, uh, uh, or they're real dancers uh, somehow, no? That uh, participate each summer in the in this workshop. Okay, and the workshop is about screen dance. No, no, no. Workshop about uh, contemporary dance with okay. a different uh, kind of contemporary dance, and uh, uh, for three years uh, we have a little pool about screen dance. Yeah, I I, I do it in this pool. Okay. Thank you.
Yeah, I think uh, Arina is starting because uh, she Buto dancer. And we name it film Buto. <laughs> film. Yes, uh, sorry, my English. Uh, the Ahara, it uh, means in Finnish language, branch. Uh, because this branch I find in, in the Iceland, uh, in the middle of Finland. Yes. <laughs> branch, yes. Uh, and um, I have performance, Bhutto performance with this branch. branch. Um, and when uh, Dina uh, watched my performance, um, we decided uh, to shoot the video dance film. Uh, but the uh, problem uh, of um, Bhutto performance, what, uh, when you watch Bhutto performance, you feel uh, the atmosphere uh, of um, uh, fullness, fullness of body, yes. Uh, but when you video recording, its atmosphere disappear. And uh, we, mm, we have a task to uh, transmit this atmosphere, no choreography buto uh, atmosphere. That's all. <laughs> uh, your performance, because this movie, it's, I do find that it uh, conveys all the, the strength and the, I don't know, the, the poetry of, uh, of Buto. Uh, but uh, somehow, uh, this film is very abstract in the space uh, and, and uh, see your body in full just uh, by touches. Uh, so, how different is it from your original performance? What changed? Uh, how, how did you adapt it to the to the film? <laughs> Was it in an abstract space at the beginning? Your performance? No, <laughs> for space, it's uh, yeah. We decided create a space uh, like uh, empty, like nothing, <laughs> vacuum. Yeah, like vacuum. <laughs> yeah. And we create this space. We create the space, and we using uh, dim, dim machine. Smoke. Yeah, smoke. Uh, cinema smoke, cinema smoke machine. Yeah, and we create uh, empty. Um, uh, before filming, uh, we uh, do something like, как бы трускадровка. <laughs> uh, uh, something like a uh, plan, plan, yeah, filming plan, uh, which part of performance we uh, stay, which part of performance we go out, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, which part we stay, how we filming, in, how, how movement uh, we do, which, um, which plan, and, uh, 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 and we decide uh, using uh, more, uh, yeah, yeah, more, more big uh, size plan. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, Before it's uh, for us, it's uh, uh, deep, uh, deep atmosphere and uh, intimacy. yeah, intimacy, intimacy. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and we want um, in in a performance when you see in life the branch, it's like uh, d it's personage, it's that's character. A, that's a partner. Yeah, and uh, in film uh, we want to усилить. Uh, uh, to make stronger do uh, our branch characters and we have a lot of uh, zoom plans for, for this and uh, Natasha you, you work also with uh, Buto uh, as an activity maybe just present uh, uh, a history of Buto style no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, so, Arina and you work together uh, with Buto? Yes, we are working together in St. Petersburg and in the other parts of Russia. And in Finland, we have two, uh, two times a year at theatrical camps, yes, when we are doing Buto with our Japanese master, Katsura Khan. Yes, uh, very interesting for us. Yes, but Arina has said that the most important for us is to transmit this uh, in other space, in other time another way of movement uh, and it's very hard work um, because when you are moving so slowly 
uh, you need some person like Dina who <laughs> uh, is able to stop, is able to make plan, for example, and in this case, uh, video dance and Butor, uh, I think, uh, have um, very uh, big uh, possibilities for future, yes, for development. Indeed. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, thank you, and uh, let's see the last movie. Uh, so uh, it's uh, work, it's uh, like some kind of experiment for me and for the arena, and we use just our, my iPhone. <laughs> um, uh, we inspired a book, Darren Jarman, Chroma, maybe something know about it. It's very nice and interesting book. In this book, uh, he pays a lot of attention of uh, association, association and memories about color. Uh, it's very interesting. It's not <laughs> okay. And uh, we decided to create a story about color. Uh, we were looking at movements that are bor born, born <laughs> from a perception in color space. For example, we found uh, this uh, big uh, boat for the orange, uh, yellow wall in the center of St. Petersburg. <laughs> yeah, and we can try, Arena can try uh, find some movement on this place. And movement for pl space, movement for dress, movement for color. Uh, and uh, we have... Uh, mm, <laughs> ah, yes, and uh, we have some limits for us. Uh, we decided to uh, do filming just vertical. We tried, and uh, after for editing, we find this uh, polycron and find this uh, typographic with a uh, start from book. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> So 
So, uh, any questions uh, right now? Uh, my voice changes uh, so much. Uh, also, uh, Dina had prepared, uh, but uh, we will maybe just talk uh, a little bit uh, about uh, film dance in Russia. Uh, I would like to say that uh, uh, I think it's the first time we select, actually, uh, dance uh, from Russia, and uh, we have found uh, such interesting pieces uh, this, this year. Often, what, uh, when we receive uh, pieces from uh, Russia or around the Russia, uh, uh, they are very narrative and very figurative in a very kind of naive uh, way. Uh, and we were surprised by your propositions are very different. Maybe there is a narration, for instance, uh, Night on Earth, is, uh, there is a narration to it. To it but it's kind of mysterious, it's not obvious and uh, on, your, on your face. So uh, that's, uh, uh, th there is other uh, screen dance in Russia which is not uh, strictly narrative. <laughs> um, so um, Dina, you also have a uh, festival or you curate or program a festival. Uh, can you tell us a little bit uh, about it? Uh, uh, I don't, uh, festival it's not me, it's, uh, we have, yeah, in Russia we have a festival in Moscow. Uh, it was started uh, three years ago. If you want, you can send your works. It's named Bodyscope. I, maybe later I can show. Um, yeah, and uh, we have an education program with uh, Alexander. We work together and we have a program. Uh, in summer school and uh, we have a big uh, program about screen dance in one of the city from one year. Uh, we try to popularization <laughs> with this genre. Uh, we try to go out for narrative of uh, I'm beautiful dance of beautiful place. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Russian artist like maybe artists in Europe too, like to find a nice location, maybe empty factory, maybe <laughs> nice forest and dance. <laughs> yeah. um, we try to go another, we try to uh, find uh, some kind of interest, we try to do with balance uh, of tools choreography tools and cinema tools, which kind of balance, because sometimes the film, it's a lot of, a lot of choreography, but camera is uh, not, not important, cinema not important, or different choreographer, I don't know. We try something different way. Okay. Um. Are there any questions uh, about uh, the movies we have seen uh, so far? Yes. Uh. Yeah, thank you so much for the movies, are really great. Uh, I would like to ask you about the sound design, particularly in the film about Butto dance, because I think that the, this very particular atmosphere was also, um, the responsibility of the sound design was very important. So how do you work with the sound designer, with the composers in your films? Uh, in this film, it uh, was a surprise for us because um, Irina showed me one uh, compositor. It's a compositor live in St. Petersburg. It's uh, so young. And uh, I listen a lot. And we want to do the sound especially for our films, these films. And I listen, listen, listen. And I find this composition. And I, wow. <laughs> It's like your writing, especially. Yeah, I find it. So, and he take it all this composition. So Arina was dancing to this music, or no. the music was made after or put afterwards. Um, uh, in my performance, I'm dancing uh, this another music, not like this. Uh, it's more uh, noisy music. Uh, we shoot uh, without music. 
без аута. Э, поехали, стой, не туда. Окей. И Вероника, что о саунд-дизайне вашего фильма, который тоже очень важен и делает много сенсов? Как было сделано? His name is Andrei Karasyov. It's a, um, yeah, it's a Russian composer, uh, film composer. Uh, I mean, he's composing music for films. And um, we've been working together for several years and we kind of know each other and he knows my taste, so. So working like for uh, dance, stage dance, or uh, he also first, creates yes. music for, for, for dance? Yes, first um, for my dance solo and then for another dance piece and, and for this uh, film. Um, so yeah, I just gave him my idea of, of the topic of the subject and I asked him what he could do with it and and it was just good from the first time so, so and the music was uh, the dancers were uh, listening to the music or the music was no. made afterwards uh, the music was actually like there was a draft um, made before the shooting and Um, they were listening to it, but without knowing that it's actually the music for the film, I was just putting it like on the ba background. And then during the shooting, I was putting some other music because I didn't want to, them to be influenced by this music. I want to have a surprise kind of afterwards to see how these movements could go with uh, another music, you know. Okay. Questions? Yes. I have a question for Ver Veronica. Um, you mentioned, I think, earlier that the choreography was from algorithms. Did you uh, put together a kind of a program to decide what the choreography movements would be? And did the dancers find them unusual, the combination, how it was put together? Um, yeah, I mean, there were a few tasks. Um, there were some tasks that are more like playful tasks and that introduce like games, for example, uh, stone, paper, scissors um, with the, the whole body. And then there were some more choreographic tools like, like the most simple is um, they invent a phrase with their upper body and then a different phrase with their legs and then they put both together um, and it creates some weird coordination and surprise and you need to adapt to it and this is not something made by your, by like on purpose it's more like a hazard so the hazard is actually the the topic of the film so it was all about random things how to how we create random choreography kind of yeah thank you Uh, my first question is how long did it take to shoot each film for Dina and for Veronica how long did it take you to shoot and then how long did it take you to edit each piece okay uh, we had one day of shooting so four days of the workshop and then one day of shooting yeah <laughs> and then for the editing lots of months <laughs> because we we had to work on every image sometimes we had to i don't know how we say the tourage wait whatever it's yeah it's when you it's when you um like circle a few elements in each image yeah i mean <laughs> kind of um And yeah, and you, need you had you, you you had to remove in post production elements in your uh, in the shots. Um, not remove, but like in the first scene, uh, the dancers in the background they are uh, blurry, and in the while we were shooting, we didn't kind of make them blurry, and we found it less aesthetic. <laughs> to to have everything okay. and less clean to have everything 
Yeah, in focus, exactly. So we had to like circle them and to make them blur. I mean, it's just details, but <laughs> the the first scene is very important to to make it kind of nice. <laughs> so. Often a short uh, shooting means a lot of editing afterwards and a long shooting, if it is uh, not made at random, means a shorter editing. So, yeah. <laughs> Dina? Uh, the works was uh, filming in the summer school. Uh, we filming, I think, the first maybe three days, but we have uh, not more hours, maybe three, four. And the second, uh, also free, free night, yeah, but a few, few hours. Uh, editing. Ah, Hara. Ah, Hara shooting. Two. How many hours? Twelve. Fifteen hours. Fifteen hours <laughs> without stop. <laughs> yeah, don't stop. Yeah, <laughs> start in the morning and uh, end in the night. Yeah, because um, we have a small budget and we rent technics, light, uh, the machine, and we need to uh, use just one one day. <laughs> yeah. And uh, about uh, Hara and filming Buto, uh, does it uh, really, uh, I mean, for the dancer and the relation between the, you two, uh, is it something that... Uh, it's easy or the fact that you have to repeat and start again, it's something that breaks your energy. Uh, how, how did you feel it? Uh, the difficult uh, thing uh, in this work, uh, it's uh, been um, hold, hold, uh, hold atmosphere inside me. Uh, because it's uh, repeat, 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 and uh, you mm, you tired, <laughs> uh, and uh, this uh, difficult. Uh, you um, <laughs> thank you. Yes, better. <laughs> Uh, Arina has a non-stopping movement inside, uh, non-stopping, and she was very neutral as you, uh, without any emotion. It's uh, the most important thing in this style, Buto style, I mean, when uh, uh, an actor uh, should be uh, very neutral each uh, second of his performance. Uh, and uh, and uh, the observer can uh, s uh, feel some kind of emotion or story which appears uh, yes in uh, his uh, well um, it depends on uh, uh, on people who is watching who are watching our um, performances yes. uh, it was in winter this uh, they, they were female in winter and in st petersburg <laughs> winter is very cold but arena um, while uh, she was moving, she uh, didn't uh, uh, feel this cold anyway, because uh, this, uh, because she was uh, holding this atmosphere and uh, it was very detailed work, uh, very m many details, uh, in internal details, details, yes. Yeah. So Dina, you are very lucky to have uh, a dancer that uh, <laughs> can stay for 15 hours and uh, hold the atmosphere without inside. Cold, eat, uh, yeah. only, only one coffee break, uh, yeah. but uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm in my uh, costume. <laughs> in my costume, I cook the coffee <laughs> with nature of face, yes. Uh, questions? Uh, I would like to ask you about uh, Night on Earth. Uh, th there is uh, the, the sound track which has uh, crickets. For us in Mediterranean uh, Europe, it's summertime, uh, summer night. But I is it uh, the case also in Russia? Do you have crickets? Uh, uh, in this part of Russia, in south? Yeah, sure. Oh, but not in south. I think. In uh, a lot of a lot of places, yeah, uh -huh. have. they have different accents, but uh, they yeah. are there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> and uh, uh, I would like uh, also to for you to talk about uh, about it. So it's 
the sound is telling us it's a summer night. Uh, there is all, or I feel a sexual tension uh, around, and it's like an uh, uh, animal, but like people hunting uh, sexually, and uh, we have these couples or trios that come and go, and then there is, it looks more, uh, I don't know if Jim Jarmusch, but more like a David Lynch movie where I was here, but then uh, I am there, and uh, uh, there is this sense of uh, repetition, and it's not a repetition. Um, is there a meaning behind it? I mean, was it, uh, uh, is, is there a narrative uh, about uh, this, uh, this movie? Which uh, I found very mysterious. I mean, uh, I, uh, I have seen it uh, several times and I always uh, find it mysterious or the goal was to be mysterious about it. Uh. It's a narrative about uh, animal, animal part of uh, human. human uh, we take a typical uh, yeah, animal mm. behavior. Uh, for example, the first uh, girl, it's like... Uh, not rabbit, uh, Bambi, Bambi, <laughs> oh. no, lost. a deer. Yeah, like a deer. Yeah, sometimes we feel some fear, like uh, mm -hmm. like a deer, and we have a very strange. Uh, uh, the next, it's uh, like uh, like a, a cat who go in night to eat to find the eat. Yeah, and sometimes we do something. It's like metaphor. And uh, you said also that uh, everything was lit with uh, uh, car, uh, the car beams, mm -hmm. the car lights, but the people inside the yeah. cars were lit, uh, there was uh, another light for them to be seen? Or? Uh, another light just in uh, part with, with hands and with couple, uh -huh. and we use uh, some, uh, some for phone, uh, for li uh, small lighting. Okay. Yeah. And uh, everything uh, just for cars. And the people in uh, the people in the cars were uh, not animal or were <laughs> animal. Uh, what? It's uh, uh, we show the people, and after we show the another uh, these people, but for another okay. image, for another <laughs> image. So it's the humans yeah, coming it's, the it's car and, and, yeah, and then they, we see yeah. them as, uh, as animals. Yeah. Okay. We don't know which we do in night, <laughs> 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 which animal <laughs> we start. Okay. First, I would like to say it's very beautiful your work. Uh, I found like it, they are very different the films. So if you could talk a bit about it, if it's a choice of yours to have a different. Uh, style in each film and the other question is about how much preparation you put into it like how much you write in advance you sort of outline what's going to be shot this relationship between the preparation phase and the shooting Dina was choosing a style uh, related, relate, related to uh, idea the main idea of uh, her filming, uh, and then uh, first she has an idea, and then uh, she begins to uh, think about style. Uh, first she uh, uh, is thinking about what is the most important in this idea, in this concept, and then she, uh, she begins to uh, uh, choose for tools, some kind of tools to, uh, yes, to develop this concept in filming. Mm -hmm. The first two works, the uh, the first two works uh, were done uh, in this uh, 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 summer dance school, and it was all very uh, intensive. Uh, it was very intensive process. Uh, they have uh, less time <laughs> to pr prepare something. So, and the uh, third work, Hara with branch, uh, was preparing. Uh, uh, during uh, uh, two months, two months, the uh, girls were deciding, uh, choosing, uh, analyzing uh, the eternal process, uh, how to. Uh, uh, 
Yes, and it was very important to choose the space, the special space for this uh, film performance, uh, and how to use uh, uh, special parts of this space. Yes, and they were thinking a lot about this uh, really two months. Just uh, as an afterthought, there might be uh, like an American style, uh, which is often also very narrative, and it has to have a lot of, uh, I don't know, a lot of uh, production value. No, you have to show that you have big cameras, big production, etc. And, and sometimes it becomes maybe a bit uh, uh, shallow. Uh, no, and sometimes uh, some works are very interesting, but they're kind of very different, for instance, from Canada. And in Canada, you can, you can see more or less, for instance, uh, French, Canada, Quebec has also a style narrative, but very different. I mean, very based on, I don't know, uh, the human expression, no, it's uh, very much uh, that. In Europe, we have, well, a lot of uh, very different uh, things. Maybe seeing from, from us, South America tends to have sometimes some kind of uh, style or at least some kind of colors or uh, movement or uh, an energy, which is typical from uh, the Caribbean or from uh, uh, Latin America, the Central Latin America, no? But uh, yes, uh, Ru Russian uh, uh, films maybe uh, are uh, just like in Europe, uh, everyone does uh, a different uh, thing. So maybe there is a mainstream Russian style and uh, we have selected the non-mainstream uh, Russians. <laughs> so just to close uh, this session, I would like to, to know what are your future projects. Uh, still want to do screen dance. Uh, do you have uh, more projects? Yeah, I have a project. Uh, I have idea. I have idea, and uh, I think about it uh, second years because it's very difficult. It's very psychologic, psychological, psych psychological. Um, I was to do a film about uh, abuse. Abuse. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> next time I do it. And Veronica, is there a future for you in screen dance too? Yes, <laughs> definitely. Um, yeah, we have a few ideas with Florian. It's not so precise yet. And I also have a project of a dance piece uh, that talks about the um, uh, extinction of bees. Um, and the replacement of the bees by drones. Um, and yeah, for now that's it. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much for uh, this wonderful session.